All right. Uh, greetings, everybody. Um, everybody wanted to have an ask me anything, and we got like a list of questions right here. I got Rich on the phone, and he's gonna fire away these questions at me, and I'm gonna answer them to the maximum honesty. Let's go, Rich. Excellent. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> first questions relate to exchanges. So. Uh, first one, what happened to the Serbian and Polish exchanges that you mentioned a few months back? All right. Um, yeah. yeah, great question. So when it comes down to the exchanges, probably most of you have been seeing that like most exchanges are asking for listing fees and all this kind of stuff. So we're about to be launching the SafeX blockchain in June, July. And meanwhile, we have this Omni token and we're going to be paying 400,000 euros to an exchange to list our Omni token, which is going to be completely useless in, in three months from now when we're on our new blockchain. So then when we move to the new blockchain, we're going to have to pay 400,000 euros just to pay the listing fee for the new blockchain SafeX token. So why would we do the same payment twice? So this is pretty simple answer. So while we were on the table with a few exchanges, we we put all those deals on hold because there's no way that we could afford or we're going to pay this amount of money twice. So that's it. So when we have new blockchain, for sure we're gonna have the new exchanges. Rich, I think that answered that question. What's yeah, next? That, yeah, that, that answers the second question as well then. Uh, when paid exchange? Paid exchanges when SafeX blockchain launch. Excellent. That's being developed on the other side of this wall that's right behind right behind this camera that's watching me right now. Okay, so the next set of questions go on to the, uh, discuss the, the technology behind the blockchain. So I'll just do them in, in list order here. Um, so one question that was raised, will the SafeX marketplace support digital apps, smart contracts that third party developers can create or utilize? I'll just add me a little bit in here as well. Uh, will there be an API as well for, for third party developers to work on the blockchain Ab itself. Absolutely. The answer to that question, absolutely. So part of the way we're structuring, so we're forking off Monero and we're building out an entire array of functions that allow you to do marketplace activities on the blockchain. So what does that mean? That means that the community of developers, when we release the software, will then be able to participate in creating all kinds of different forms of escrow, different forms of arbiter networks, different kinds of their own title markets. So uh, innovation, third-party applications, third-party developers, open API into your own website, into your own apps. This is a full ecosystem. Obviously, we're going to offer our own, uh, our own implementation, our own version and approach to this software. But obviously, this is wide open for anybody to jump in, create their own kinds of contracts, and, and to make their own applications, their own marketplace applications. This thing is versatile, and that's what we're planning. And... Uh, you know, give me the next question, Rich, because I got a lot more to say about that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> will listing data, such as product images, be stored on the blockchain? How, how are you going to handle that? Yes. So at this time, we we will, of course, host the thumbnail. But definitely, we are coming up with some third-party solution where you use uh, IPFS and you store just the hash of the image here. And the software will reach out to the IPFS and pull down the image from there. So we're going for a decentralized solution in order to... Uh, minimize the amount of size on the transaction they have to make into the blockchain to store the image. So it's a big, uh, it's a big good question that we have a solution to. Okay. Will your team be, be de <clears throat> start again? Will your team be developing an iOS slash Android app for the marketplace? Yeah. So good question. We have uh, plenty of React JS developers who are coming on board or already are on board who have experience with React Native and it's one of the criteria for hiring new developers. So that being said, React Native is a way to take our website application or for example, our Electron application. Electron application is the SafeX wallet that we're using already. And it's easy to make that code available on iOS and Android. So while the majority of the world who I believe will be using the SafeX marketplace, they are the ones who are on Android devices, for example. So it's something very important and it's very close to our heart to make sure that we are mobile friendly. Okay. Uh, what frequency will the dividends be paid? Is it each transaction every day, each week or yes. monthly? So that's a still standing question. Uh, at this time we have daily. So 
there's X number of blocks and then once a day it'll pay out this dividend. So uh, this is a question that we don't have concrete answer to at this date, but there will be a good answer to it because of course I'm interested in there being a higher frequency of, of these um, dividend payouts. So it's a matter of how many blocks we interrupt just for paying dividends or if we take a different approach where we allow we create a special transaction that redeems dividends as they are made. So that's real time versus a set interval. So we are still testing this kind of this kind of a strategy. And in the future we can always switch between different kinds. But we will pick one and that's how we're going to release with either this every x number of blocks will become dedicated to allocating the the dividend payment or in real time where you can redeem them as they're created. So uh, more on that over the next two months. Okay. <laughs> is, there a, is there going to be a designated place to discuss topics prior to voting on them that yes. is protected from the ban yes. heavy mods? Yes. So there's no banning, there's no moderating. The It's open discussion over the blockchain. So there's private messaging. So that also means that we can implement open messaging for everybody to pay their SafeX coin, their SafeX cash, in order to put their message into the blockchain and anybody could read it. So you could expose your opinion. So also it'd be interesting that if your account is tied with what you said, and that way you can attach your reputation to the comment that you have made to the community. Yeah, so that way you could be accountable. If you're a troll with no reputation, I don't think many people are gonna listen to what you have to say. But if you are someone with integrity, you're a big participant in the marketplace, you're generating a lot of uh, dividend payments to everybody because a huge amount of volume goes through your title market or you're an active trader, then your opinion will be very heavily weighted because you will have a high reputation on the marketplace. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that thing coming into fruition. But for sure, there would be paid messaging into the platform. So done deal. Okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so the next, the next bunch of questions have been raised quite recently. Uh, it's related to the, the affiliate program. Sure. So um, where is the SafeX coming from for the affiliate program? Yeah, so SafeX is coming from the SafeX developers company. Uh, there's a fixed amount of coins that it has. Um, and basically, it's uh, rebuying from the exchanges in real time as someone buys these coins. Okay, so um, yeah, there was a bit of controversy. Well, uh, a lot of questions about the buyback as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so on, on the buyback, that? so we get a lot of feedback on the buyback, but there was a lot of people with small amounts, and it becomes logistically infeasible to process majority of these um, suggestions. So, if you have a small amount of of Safex token and you need to sell them, go to the exchange. It's very easy to do that. We wind up processing just very few of these. Um, offers that people had and um, and it became very very uh, very difficult to process this transaction because when we got to the table with dealing with some people they wanted more than what was there or um, it was kind of not uh, practical because people don't want to give their information for or sign a document that allows them to create the transaction so while a few people did cooperate in the in the terms of the buyback and we're really grateful to to those people who bought them. They made a profit. They were grateful, and and they just wanted to get out. And that was during the time when there was uh, no volume and no exchange possibilities when there was Trade Satoshi. But if you if you can open your account on Trade Satoshi, maybe it's cumbersome, but never mind. Just go there. It's easier. And um, and the buyback is is there for anybody very serious and has a certain amount of coin and has some circumstance that they need to get out, we will help you. Um, that being said, we launched the affiliate program to give people a chance to promote SafeX uh, because in the past there was never that chance to give a promotion. So uh, obviously in the crowd sale two, two years ago, we raised $50,000 and we're still kicking. We have beautiful offices. Where did all this come from? It's from diligence and good business dealing. So that being said, we launched this affiliate program to allow people to promote SafeX. And if you say that the price is too high or something like that, that's absurd because most ICOs, they're dictating what their prices are. And uh, we are just using a factor that is from the exchange. So look, if people just started flooding into the buyback program and the price is, let's say, 400 Satoshi and on the exchange it's 250 Satoshi, 
but only four or five Bitcoin puts it at 400. Well, go figure. I could still lose money on the company because imagine somebody came and bought for 50 Bitcoins at 400 Satoshi, like good Lord. So anyway, people, if you want to bring a competing service and promote SafeX, all the power to you, please do it because, and then you'll face all the logistical problems related to the, to the affiliate, to making an affiliate program, to making an exchange and things like this. So our approach to the affiliate program is the best one that we could have come up with. We have very clear terms, very clear agreements. If you sign up, you get 5% of all sales that are made through your affiliate, uh, um, your username. So look, if you have some following, you're an influencer, you heard about SafeX, the vision that we're doing, bringing cryptocurrency to all of the people of all of the earth, this is the most important project, in my opinion, in the entire crypto space. Great, Ethereum brought us smart contracts, amazing. Uh, developers can participate, but guess what? In the world, there are fewer developers and fewer people who understand how that thing works. But you know what? A lot of people understand how buying and selling goods and services works, and that's what SafeX is bringing to the world. So if you want to support mass adoption of cryptocurrencies, support SafeX. If you want to support a good emission curve that promotes the adoption rather than empowering early, uh, early buyers, support SafeX. Get into this now because if you establish your reputation today, that brings you far ahead of the curve because later when people start coming and selling their goods and services and they're going to be competing against you and you left this boat uh, floating in the, in the waters, you won't get in on this, you won't build your reputation, you won't be a powerhouse selling things in the new crypto commerce revolution. So you better get onto SafeX, this affiliate program, you don't have to participate. But look, if you understand this, you should be in this. And um, so uh, that's it. That's all I have to say about this right now. What's the next question? Uh, I just have to ask this one. Did you pay John McAfee to tweet about SafeX? Uh, no, John McAfee did this on his own accord. I met him a year ago and, uh, and we were on a conference. I talked to him about it and, uh, you know, that that's it. Like, uh, he just researched, I guess, and, and he understood. I talked to him about our project, but I didn't pitch him. I didn't suggest anything. I just talked about the problems in cryptocurrency and that was it. So, um, no, I did not pay John McAfee anything. I, I think only after people started paying John McAfee after he tweeted about us. I don't have enough money to pay John McAfee. That guy's a legend. I can't afford to pay John McAfee to tweet about us. So anyway, that's that. That's the end of that story. Okay, so the next batch of questions are more related to updates and timelines and, and, and whatnot. So uh, when can we expect to see a working product in alpha or at least beta? I know there's a few sort of dates, quarters knocking around, so I could just do it being cleared up. Yeah, so right now our blockchain development team together with me, we're like we're in the proof of concept phase of our blockchain. So we have a blockchain implementation and we're building things upon it and we're testing different things before we go into the, the marathon of coding that thing to the end. And we have plenty of progress on there, but that means that we can't give a firm timeline just yet in about two weeks because we discussed this two weeks ago. We said in one month, let's let's uh let's spend time let's plan let's be calm before we approach anybody and tell them what we're about to do so two weeks from now we would have created a roadmap a waterfall roadmap and we will be giving a clear uh a clear description of where we're going and how we're going about it so um we're sure that we will have the safex cash that's being mined between the end of june and the beginning of july this is very clear and this has already been established that much I can tell you already. We've already agreed that we're going to be mining SafeX Cash and releasing the SafeX blockchain in June slash July and early in July if it has to get to that point. Now, in terms of the SafeX marketplace, there is an entire planning going on because we need to develop an entire uh, array of functions that allow you to do various different things between buying and selling goods and services, storing images, storing information about it, how to deal with a purchase and how to, uh, how to recognize that purchase happened, different jurisdictions, so charging VAT taxes, charging various taxes. So there's a lot of innovation that is going into this. And so we must come up with a very good plan and that's what we're doing at this time. And then we could give this roadmap uh, and more precise timeline of when exactly the things will be released. But I will tell you one thing, that before Christmas happens, every person on the earth 
will be able to do Christmas shopping this year on the SafeX marketplace. That I can assure you. That's what we're going for. And there's a ton of people who are working here with us who are going to join us in the open source when we start releasing code to the GitHub who will make this thing happen and accelerate this thing. Because without SafeX and this vision, the crypto commerce, the crypto mass adoption will not happen. I assure you this. Because everybody is making all these kind of complicated blockchains, complicated things that a lot of people don't understand, but they're jumping in because they're excited and they should be. However, we need mass adoption. So what's the next Amazon? What's the next Alibaba? I mean, just two years ago, there was a, um, I forget the name, but I'm writing an article about how two years ago, there's a crypto commerce platform, uh, not a crypto commerce, a normal e-commerce platform, start competing with Alibaba, and now they have 150 million users, and they have a $15 billion valuation, and they raised $3 billion just a couple weeks ago. So never mind, we're going somewhere, we're doing it. We're doing it every day and we're doing it good, and it's coming. It's coming out. It will be in your hands, ASAP. What's the next question, Rich? Uh, this is the final one uh, for my lot of questions. So, what happened to the marketing company you hired last year? Uh, yes, they're in, they, they, they are engaged, but we engage them for Balkanium specifically to promote our, our jobs. So uh, we have full in-house marketing team, so never mind that. <laughs> what a funny question to close on. Yeah. Well, yes, that's uh, that's all the the questions from the the Q and A. Uh, uh, there was a few that have been covered, but I know that they've already been answered before from uh, from prior updates. So, uh, yeah, Rich, that's, thanks, that's thanks, it. thanks for coming on board and and uh, and helping us with everything that you do. You're a legend, and uh, we couldn't have we couldn't have been doing all this without you. And everybody everybody who knows you from the Discord or from SafeX News, um, you know. They, they owe you a high five or a beer or whatever the hell you want that's, that's not burdensome to their, to their wallet. <laughs> My pleasure. All right, man. I think that's everything, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, All right, I'm going to hit the stop. And, and thanks a lot, Rich. And you have a good day, man. Have a good weekend. Bye.